famous Butch and Bob show here on WIFO 105.5 FM and Jessup brought to you by First Southern Bank, Vans Barbecue, Murphy Builder Supply, and Aquinnah Associates. And Bob on the phone with us right now is former Senator Kelly Leffler. Bob, take it away and talk with Kelly this morning. It's been a while since we've had Kelly on the show. Kelly, glad to have you back on the Butch and Bob show. Nice to have you on the show. Thanks for calling in. Well, I'm thrilled to be with y'all this morning. Hope y'all are doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, I understand you're heading up Greater Georgia, which is out registering voters for this upcoming November election. So tell us about that. How'd you get involved in that? Well, I got involved because I ran in the largest statewide election in the history of Georgia during 2020. And what we learned on the ground and in the field and out with voters is that we need to do more mobilization year-round, not just during an election year, but we've really got to grow the tent and grow the, the conservative movement. And so when I left the Senate in January 2021, I started Greater Georgia because I saw what they had on the left. They had thousands of operatives, uh, upwards of $100 million for a ground game, and we didn't have that on our side. And so I set out to build that. Uh, I'm, I'm a businesswoman. I have three decades of experience. Maybe more importantly, I grew up on a farm, and, and I love to work, and I love to get up and get out and, and get results. So I decided to build this, and we've been out now 19 months, uh, have registered tens of thousands of conservative-leading voters. And then in May's primary this year, uh, you know, big primary for our state, uh, we saw tremendous results, and, and we can go into those. But I think it just shows what you do, what can be done with a little bit of effort on the ground uh, out growing the tent for the conservative movement. And just joining us, Kelly Leffler on the phone with us, former senator. Uh, how big of an organization is this, Kelly, and how did you put this together? Yeah, so I, I really just started bootstrapping it. I learned from uh, being out in, in campaigns, uh, certainly through my year, my year in the Senate and then running my own campaign, and now out helping others uh, across our state, making sure that we keep Georgia red. And I just put together a field program that basically consists of, you know, we've got a few dozen employees. Um, we've got now two organizations that have grown. So I've got Greater Georgia, which is our voter registration uh, election integrity effort, and then Citizens for Greater Georgia, which is the state Senate Republican caucus reelect effort. And so we've got guys and gals out in the field every single day hitting about 3,000 doors a week. Uh, we're on the phones, texts, and emails. And we've contacted over 2.5 million voters in the aggregate over the last year and a half. That's about 2.5 million voters that wouldn't have been contacted without our effort. And that's why in the May primary we think it's a big reason why Republican turnout doubled compared to the prior midterm primary in 2018. And we just saw tremendous results. The majority of women pulled Republican ballots. The majority of Hispanics and Asians pulled Republican ballots. And we grew uh, Republican votes across every single uh, category. Well, we're set for the Labor Day weekend, but once the Labor Day weekend ends, I'm sure most people are going to focus on these elections, important elections coming up in November. So how do you see it all playing out? Again, a uh, big governor's race between Governor Kim and Stacey Abrams a rematch. So how do you see that playing out? Well, you're exactly right. Uh, campaigns tend to think in terms of post-Labor Day. Uh, I would argue that voters have been very much paying attention all summer because what's happened is they've been hurt by the policies in Washington that are really driving prices up, whether it's gas or grocery prices. Uh, they're seeing challenges, um, you know, crime in our communities, open borders. Uh, we've got real problems. And so I think voters are really ready to get involved. Um, and in fact, early voting starts October 17th. So we're about six weeks out from that, if you can believe it. Um, but I think the governor has done a tremendous job. And, and you know, nearby Bryan County is going to be, you know, creating about 8,000 jobs thanks to that economic development for the EV plant, EV batteries. Um, and in fact, the governor uh, just announced a $21 billion dollar total of economic development in Georgia during the 22 fiscal year. And so this shows what can be done when we keep Georgia red. 
We have record low unemployment, about 2.7%. And when you think about heading into Labor Day, um, you know, and I want to thank everyone who contributes to our great economy here, who gets up and works hard every day. Um, as I mentioned, I, was, I grew up on a farm, grew up in the trucking business. Um, I just have tremendous respect for the men and women across our state who are doing the hard work every single day. Um, and that's what Governor Kemp wants, is to make sure that everyone has that chance to climb that ladder of success, has good paying jobs with benefits and all those things that keep their family healthy and safe and strong. So I'm just excited about the candidates we have up and down the ballot. And I also mention local elections matter. Um, we've got really critical decisions to be made uh, in the state capitol this year uh, and, and in our communities. So whether it's sheriffs or DAs or mayors, we've got to get out and support those conservative candidates. And on the phone with us, Kelly Leffler, after the election's over, any, you know, what's your future? Are you interested in getting back in the political field? People keep asking that question. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I'm deeply in it. I'm, I'm out on the road helping campaigns right now. I'm uh, working on uh, women for Herschel and uh, helping the governor, helping Ag Secretary uh, candidate, uh, Commissioner candidate Tyler Harper and others, and uh, just really proud to do that and to help make sure that we get across the line. Um, look, I'm going to continue to grow the conservative movement in Georgia. That's, that's my big focus, and uh, it, it was the honor of my lifetime to serve in the Senate. Um, and as a businesswoman, you know, I never close off options, but that's not my... That's not my real focus right now. It's how do we get our state and our country back on track? Um, you only have to look as far back to last night to President Biden's really aggressively divisive campaign style speech to say, you know, our country deserves better. Um, we've really got to make sure that we get back to, to normalcy, to focusing on kids and families and opportunities for them and, and to stop all this crazy Washington-driven division and, and power grab that we've got going on. People listening, if they want to find out more about these organizations, uh, Greater Georgia and uh, the Greater Georgia Citizens for Greater Georgia, is there a website they can go to to get more information, Kelly? Yeah, absolutely. A couple websites, greatergeorgia.com and Citizens for Greater GA. Uh, that's our Senate uh, website, and you can find us on social media. And, you know, I'll just offer a reminder to everyone, get involved in your local elections, understand who the candidates are, make sure you support those strong conservatives uh, in, in uh, up and down the ballot, and make sure that you turn up and vote early if you can. Early voting in person starts uh, October 17th. So that's going to be um, off to the races. So. Um, we'd love to have, and, and you can volunteer too. If anyone wants to volunteer, greatergeorgia.com. We've got a lot of great work to do. Yeah, definitely. It'll be here before you know it. But again, it was nice catching up with you. Glad you're back on the show. Uh, again, appreciate your people reaching out to us, and uh, always good talking to you. Again, uh, we look forward to the upcoming elections, and hopefully we'll get you on again between now and the election date. Honor to be with y'all. Have a great day. Okay. okay. Thanks so much, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate it. Kelly Leffler here on Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup. And uh, right now we're going to take a quick break, and we've got uh, more guests to come up on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show in just a moment, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mandy Yeomans. And I'm Raymond Brown with First Southern Bank. As your locally owned community bank, we're here to help our community grow. Our customers are why we are here. You can tell we want your business. We offer all types of deposit products, personal and business. We have fast, efficient service, and yes, we have online banking too. I'm sure we have an account to fit your needs. Stop by or call us at 912-588-1010 and see how First Southern Bank can help you. We're FDIC Equal Housing Lender. When it comes to barbecue, Vans Barbecue and Jessup is the place to be. A small family-owned business located at 1876 on the Savannah Highway. Vans Barbecue has lunch and dinner specials. Stop by or call to make an order. The number to call, 427-3358. Vans Barbecue's new manager is Sarah Van. Vans Barbecue offers potato salad, coleslaw, baked beans, and don't forget their delicious mac and cheese. Also, check out their shrimp plates, the best in town. Yes, when it comes to the barbecue, head to Vans Barbecue, locally owned and operated. Stop by and tell them the big dog sent you. Once again, the number to order, 427-3358. 
Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Are you looking for an insurance company that you can call and talk to a live person? Are you looking for an insurance company where you can walk in and talk to an agent? Are you looking for an insurance company that offers multiple companies so they can try and get you the best rate? If you said yes to any of these, then you need to call or come by Oakwin & Associates Insurance Financial Services. We offer multiple companies so we can find the best fit for you. Give us a call at 385-1000 or stop by our office at 212 South Fair Street right here in Jessup. One hundred five point five FM and Jess of Big Dog Country Radio WIFO, and we got more guests here on the world famous Butch and Bob Show right here on WIFO. Trying to get their mics on here. We got Pastor Scott Hatton in here this morning from Jessup Church of God. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Doing fine. I'm trying to get your level up here. Get my level up here. Trying to get everything set different from when we had uh, Senator uh, Leffler on there, and we got Cam Maddenly. Good morning, Cam. Cam, uh, what's your association with Jessup Church of God? I'm a lay leader at the church. You're a lay leader, okay. All right, Pastor uh, uh, Scott, uh, tell us what's going on with uh, Jessup Church of God right now. Well, we just wanted to come on a few moments and uh, first of all say thank you for allowing us to be here, but also to talk about our men's conference coming up on September 9th and 10th. Uh, our, our theme is Stronger Together. Uh, we believe that the men of the community, that men in general uh, across the board, uh, when we come together, we're a lot stronger when we make ourselves accountable to one another, and we're just there to help each other out. You know, we're not out here floating around by ourselves. Uh, we, we need to come together and be, be something significant for the kingdom of God. And we've got a couple of guys coming in, uh, Pastor Benny Tate, Pastor Jeff Doss. Uh, Pastor Benny pastors Rock Springs Church, been there over 30 years. It's up in Milner, Georgia. He's a congregational Methodist. Uh, church denomination Jeff Dawes from Stockbridge Community Church been there over 26 years uh, he, he's Church of God and, and the reason I bring that up is we want everyone to know that this is not just a Church of God thing this is not church growth it's not anything that we're going to uh, as a body benefit from but we just want to invest in the community and, and, and the men of our community and surrounding areas that are coming so you got leaders from two different denominations here basically you're talking about men's growth you're not you're talking about the church itself, Correct. you're talking about helping men and men's growth. So how does yeah, that how right. do, how's that going to happen? Well, they're, they're going to have we're going to have a service on uh, on Friday night, and I'm going to ask uh, Brother Cameron if he'll just kind of go through the schedule and, and talk through that just a little bit, if he will. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So we'll kick off Friday night at 7 p.m., and then Saturday morning we'll all get back together. We'll have two sessions on Saturday, 9 a.m. on Saturday, and then again at 10:15. We'll go through some Q and A sessions, so both these guys are coming vulnerable and and ready to. To, to help men um you know the last couple of years for for men have probably been a little difficult it has for all of us um so they're they're coming willing to pour in and and help um then we'll follow that up with a lunch and a time of fellowship we've got some fun that's going to take place there that we might get to in a minute as well okay. all right all that starts on friday yes sir friday okay. night and then how does it continue on um well, once we're through with the conference what our, our hopes and our prayer is is that these men will take uh, what's been poured into them first of all take it home with their families um, I'm you know through this being stronger together being stronger men we can pour into the into our families make us better husbands better fathers just better leaders in general that we're supposed to be okay and so going forward that that is you know beyond this event that's what our hopes are okay it's the Jessup Church of God stronger together men's conference coming up on Friday evening it's September 9th and then how long Saturday the 10th uh, beginning at 9 and going through lunch, and we will have a lunch afterwards okay. uh, for that. And it's a free event. All men are invited. Yes, sir. And we've got some, if I could take a second. We've got you got some, plenty of time. We've got some really uh, cool prizes that we're going to be giving away, uh, oh, okay. just some door prizes. Here again, the, the main thing we want everyone to know, and I'm going to let Cameron talk about that, but the main thing we want everybody to know is this is 100% free. Uh, we've had some folks in the community that have made some great donations towards uh, our door prizes. 
Um, and it's just a really unique thing. Go ahead and share that a little bit. Cameron. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, door prizes, not raffles, not fundraisers. Uh, <laughs> these things are free. And I think it is kind of cool, you know, as we laugh about that, this has been a, a pretty serious conference we've been putting together. It's been bathed in prayer and a lot of intentional decisions, but then it's also kind of neat. Pastor said, let's get some raffles. And uh, he mm-hmm. reminded me that it's okay for us to have some fun. Too, yeah, that we, we don't have, have fun. To. So, so anyway, we went out in the community. We've got some great support. Uh, Ace Hardware has given us a, a Browning over and under, uh, twenty gauge Featherlight shotgun. Uh, oh, it's a beautiful go. gun. Huh? Um, Wayne Feed and Seed has given us a, a bear crossbow that's rigged with scopes and uh, bolts ready for bow season. Uh, we've also got a dove bucket um, from Ace Hardware that's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's next generation dove bucket. It's one of them nice ones. Uh, the dove got, season begins tomorrow. That's right. That's yeah. right. So it's right on so time. So you hear a whole bunch of bam, bam, bam out in the, out in the fields out there. It's, you know, there's a little, the dove's up there way up in the sky. That's right. And then Dorchester Quail Preserve out in Midway gave us a half-day quail hunt for two which that's a treat if you've never had the opportunity to do that. And we've got some other folks in the community uh, pitching in with some tools and uh, other things like that that we're excited about. We'll probably find some golf stuff to sprinkle in for those guys that like to golf and a little fishing stuff. And then we'll probably have some gift certificates for some local restaurants as well. Okay, so the guys get there, they get some raffle tickets, and then you'll put the tickets in a hopper bucket or something like that and ever so often pull them out and folks will win stuff right we'll, we'll do that saturday right before lunch okay right before lunch the, the guys will have a chance to win those prizes right before lunch so this is the stronger together men's conference a free conference for men that'll be held on friday evening at the jessup church of god and then on saturday starting at 9 a.m going through 12 p.m lunch they have the saturday, saturday night uh, friday night service friday night service with Vinny tate and then Saturday, a session beginning at, at 9 o'clock with Jeff Dolls, And then 10.15 with Benny Tate. Then question and answer, Q&A. And then 12 o'clock lunch. So you, they get fed. They get to have a chance to, to win some prizes. Plus, they receive information to help them, as we all need to be, better men. Right. That, that's right. And, uh, you know, that, that's the you – know, we're, we're looking forward to the prizes and everything. You know, it's going to be a great time, the fellowship. But, but my heart in all of this is to make sure that our, our men come very open-minded, open-hearted to, to receive, you know, what the Lord has for them. <clears throat> you know, these guys have, have invested. I've been in conferences with them. They've invested in lives all over, all over the country. Uh, Benny Tate's been all around the world. So it's really going to be a great thing, seasoned men that can pour into us and, and really make a significant difference in our lives. Okay. All right. Bob, any questions or comments for the pastor this morning or Cameron? All right. I just wonder how the school's going. <laughs> the school, I know the school's happy to get let y'all help out, but I understand it's going well. It, it is going really good. It's been, you know, it's been great to be able to serve them. You, you know, that I, I believe that's what our churches are planted in the community for is to is to serve our community. And what uh, grades do y'all have from James E. Bacon there? Second and third grade. Second and third grade. Yes, we'll continue to meet there until the school's completed. Until the school's completed, whatever that's going to look like. We've heard different different dates. I'm not going to speculate. I'm thinking just, after Christmas holidays. That, that's, <laughs> that's just me. That, that's been the most recent I've heard. <laughs> We're also I, look, in a I look at that program. building and I said, you know, yeah. that's got a lot to go there. Yeah. And so, you know, I always add. You know, when, you know, when you, they say construction, oh, it's going to be done by someone. I always add time to it because I know how construction projects, are. and especially in these times, you really yeah. got to double that add time period. You, you really do. And, and like Brother Cameron said, we're 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 trying to serve them. You know, and we're going to serve them until the school's ready, and and you know, make that available. We're going through a, a remodel ourselves in the midst of all this. So I, I saw I the scaffolding there yesterday. I said the, the building was not is not that old. It's brick. I mean, what, yeah. what do you have to do? So y'all, y'all putting uh, stucco on the stucco outside. up on the top where it was already. Some of the stucco was starting to you know look bad and come apart. Yeah, stucco and, don't last as long. Yeah, yeah. you have to you have to work on that ever so, so often. We're, we're having the birds seem to love yes. stucco. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I like to peck at that thing and put their little nest in there. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember a bank one time when I lived up in South Carolina. The a bank had there had a whole and the new bank was completely stuck on the outside, and the marketing director there you see him outside ever so often with a BB gun, and I'd ask him, "What are you doing?" 
You're messing up our stucco up there. I'm trying to scare them off. The birds are messing up the outside. So don't give that's the reason why you see scaffolding. Yeah. Don't give your guys any ideas. Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> Cameron, don't, we don't want you out I there doing that now, Cameron. <laughs> B- BB gun oh, now. We BB don't. Gun, BB gun. I said BB gun. Yeah, uh, boom. <laughs> it's not dove season above just some church of God now. That's right. That's for sure. That's for sure. But, yeah, the, the school is going really the good. The, the school, it's going well. I went down there this morning and. Uh, uh, anyway, just to check in with them, I try to do that a few days a week. I try to stay out of their way and let them do them, uh-huh. but I just want to make sure there's nothing they need, and so everything's going very well with it. Good, good. And we're, That's we're, just great that y'all were there, and, 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 and uh, James E. Bacon was able to send a couple of grades there during these months while they're trying to finish yeah. up the new school. Yeah, it, it's a privilege for sure to be able to serve them. All right. So once again, uh, Pastor, why don't you hit the highlights of the men's conference coming up uh, the following weekend, September 9th, that Friday evening, and Saturday morning, the 10th. Uh, stronger Together, that, that's our theme. That's what the Lord's put in our heart. Uh, Benny Tate on Friday night, 7 a.m., will just be a worship service. We're going to have an all-men's uh, uh, praise team singing, and they're coming from around the community. Different ones from around the community will be a part of that. Uh, beginning at 7 o'clock, then on Saturday morning, 9 a.m. will be session one with Pastor Jeff Doss, 10-15 with Benny Tate, uh, Q&A after that, and then the giveaways and the meal. Okay. It'll be a great time. All right, and, everyone, and it's free, folks. It's free. Everything, 100%. all the services, the lunch, the, the prizes, you get all that, and it's free to, to walk away, hopefully learning something to help us all become better men. And sometimes it's hard for us to share our feelings, and in, in, a, in an environment like that, it'd be a lot easier. Yes, sir, absolutely. All right. Well, we wish you best with the conference. Thank you much and for we've your time. Had, and we've enjoyed having Jessup Church of God uh, each Sunday morning at 930 here on 105.5 FM. Yes, sir. We appreciate that opportunity as well. All right. Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO 105.5 FM and Jessup Big Dog Country Radio. We'll be back with the more of the world famous Butch and Bob show in a moment. South Georgia weather. Here's your WIFO forecast. Chance of showers and thunderstorms early, then more partly sunny. Showers and thunderstorms likely in the afternoon, upper 80s. Mostly cloudy, 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, low 70s for tonight. Tomorrow, chance of showers and thunderstorms early, then showers with thunderstorms likely in the afternoon, Saturday's high, upper 80s. Sunday, chance of showers and thunderstorms. Georgia Chief Meteorologist John Weatherby in the Georgia 811 Weather Center. Contact 811 before you dig. Take a step forward in the right direction with a new career. Contact us here at Jessup Broadcasting about our current openings for account executives, full-time or part-time. You will be trained to offer local businesses effective radio and digital advertising and marketing solutions. You will earn salary plus commission. Call or text to set up an interview at 912-427-3711. 912-427-3711. Call weekdays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and ask for Mr. Hubbard. Text us anytime. You can also send resumes to cwhubbard at bellsouth.net. cwhubbard at bellsouth.net. Begin a new and rewarding career with WIFO and WLOP Radio. Jessup Broadcasting, an equal opportunity employer. We look forward to hearing from you. Well, Bob, y'all fired up and ready for nine. I'm ready. You I'm ready? Just, I'm just hoping the weatherman cooperates. I mean, yeah, there's sixty percent chance. Every, yeah, so. We'll see. Every afternoon, so hopefully it won't. We wouldn't have got a game in last night, man. That was something else. As a matter of fact, my power went off for about an hour. I heard a, I heard a saw and heard a bam that looked like it would, you know, knock a tank off its uh, tracks. And uh, power went off. It was off for about an hour, and then came back on where I live, off of Spring Grove Road. And um, but. Um, We'll see what happens tonight. I mean, it just continued on last night, but 60% chance, but it decreases to a 30% chance tonight, but that's later on tonight. So let's just check that weather and make sure that we're okay. Should be a great game. Should be a great atmosphere. A lot of Wayne tickets being sold. I said tickets are flying off the shelf, so packed house. Expect tonight at J.C. Stadium. Looking you said it was busy it. yesterday when you ran by Sheffield's on uh, Orange I mean, Street? Can't get a parking space. There's <laughs> the people in there getting tickets and T-shirts tickets and, and all kinds of stuff. T-shirts, all kinds of stuff, getting ready for this game. So It was rack stacked and packing Sheffield's yesterday, huh? It was a big crowd, for sure. Okay. Well, sounds good. So, Wayne County, Applin County at J.C. Stadium tonight. Kick off at 730. We encourage you out there and wear your gold and white and black and yellow and cheer the Jackets on to victory. And if you can't make it, our coverage will begin right here at 630. 
As Bob Morgan sits down with head coach Jay Bush to talk about last week's game and this week's game from 6.30 to 7. Live from J.C. Stadium at 7 o'clock, the pregame show with Bob Morgan and Joe Roddy. And I think he said you're going to have Billy Richardson as a special yeah, guest. Yeah, Billy's their special guest. So he'll be talking about his career at Wayne County High School, one of the most successful quarterbacks in Wayne County history. Okay, and then kick off at 7.30. Uh, we'll have it all right here on 105.5 FM, and we'll stream that broadcast beginning at 6.30 down our website at BigDogCountry.com, BigDogCountry.com. Just click on live stream, and there it will be. Always just a great game between the two, you know? Looking forward to seeing that big crowd. Give me a nice gate. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about that. It's going to be It's going to be packed there, so get there early. Run by the Wayne County Touchdown Pavilion there before you walk through the main gates there and get yourself a sausage dog, hamburger, whatever else they got there, and, and enjoy that, take it inside or eat it outside, whatever you want to do. And, that, uh, of course, they got the concession stands in there to get other stuff and just have a good evening there. Remember now they got the new lights this year, right, Bob? New lights so should be a f- nice feature so you know it all takes place. But got- and they're going to have a light show with it. You know, not only with new lights, with the LED lights, they've also got a light show that they can coordinate and have different I don't know looks. I don't know what it's going to look like. <laughs> and, of course, I won't because I'll be here at the radio station, but you can tell me all about it on Tuesday. Okay, because Monday is a holiday. It is Labor Day weekend, three-day holiday. And I hope everyone has a, a good time and just keep it tuned in to 105.5 FM. We'll keep you entertained with your favorite music and informed with the latest news, sports, weather, and information. Well, Bob, the Braves won last night, so they did take two out of three from um, uh, from Colorado. But I think the Mets won last night, too, didn't they? Yeah, the Mets won two out of three from the Dodgers, so it's still a three-game lead. Yeah, History three made last night, though, Spencer Strider, the rookie, set a new Braves record for most strikeouts in the game. 16 strikeouts last night in eight wow. innings, breaking – John Smoltz, previous record of 15, set back in 2005. So, records sit for quite some time, but as they say, records were made to be broken. And yeah. the young rookie went out there and struck the out The young 16. rookie did this, huh? Beat Smoltz's record. Great, great performance last night. Okay. That's good. Well, the Braves, um, who they got going up now? Miami. We got Miami. Miami, the fish are coming to town uh, for tonight, tomorrow night, and then Sunday afternoon. Now, uh, tonight's game, well, we won't be able to do it because we got Wayne County baseball going, I mean, Wayne County football, Wayne County football this evening starting at 630. And then tomorrow, we've got Georgia Southern Eagle football that begins tomorrow afternoon right here on 105.5 FM, pregame at 4 o'clock, kickoff at 6 o'clock as uh, Georgia Southern takes on Morgan State at Paulson Stadium there in Statesboro. And so that game will be going on. And so we won't be able to carry the Braves then, but the Braves will be back on with us here on 105.5 FM beginning on uh, Sunday, uh, beginning just after 12 noon, as they'll f- be fishing up, finishing up that series against Miami. So lots of sports going on. High school football tonight, college football tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, and Braves baseball on Sunday afternoon. Good music. Latest new sports, weather, and information. We got it all right here on 105.5 FM. All right, Bob, what else is going on? Anything? Some good games last night. It's nice to see you. In football, former, college football? Yeah, former Wayne County kicker Mitchell Fitterman with his another year at Purdue. Purdue lost to Penn State, but Mitchell kicked a field goal and kicked all the extra points. But it's good to see. So we got a former kicker from Wayne yeah, County? Yeah, Daryl Fitterman's, you know, remember former superintendent Daryl Fitterman's uh-huh. his son, Mitchell. Mitchell's got a scholarship at Purdue. Been oh, with wow. Purdue the last couple of years, but it's good to see him on TV. I still Did remember, he kick for us? Yeah, he kicked for us. Okay. I still remember, I tell that story, I was doing an all-star baseball game out at Bill Morris Park. They had that one football field, and this kid was over there. He had the little tee and a football, and he'd kick it through the uprights, and he'd go walk and pick it up, and he would do that for hours. Nobody uh-huh. nobody helped him. He did it all by he himself. He all by himself with one football. And, and look what I got him. I got him a scholarship. Got him a scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a free ride at Purdue University. So. Hard work pays off, but I still remember that kid. <laughs> I was like, Who is, what's that kid doing? How come you can't get somebody to help him out? But he would he would boot that football to the uprights and go walk and pick it up, and he would do it for hours. Just hours. Yeah, so look yeah. over there. He's kicking for Purdue. Kicking for Shows Purdue. you what persistency yeah. and consistency pays yeah, off. Helped win that bowl game last year for him. So yeah. Just a great kid, so happy for him. But he's got an extra year to do that. Everybody got an extra year, so he's got one more year at Purdue. So. Okay. It was nice to see him on TV last night. 
Fantastic. Well, Bob, anything else on your mind this morning? Let's go dogs. Go dogs. Go jackets. Yep. Wayne County Yellow Jackets. All right. Have a good day. Great football game and a good Labor Day weekend. All right, the world-famous Butch and Bob Show right here on WIFO, brought to you by First Southern Bank, by Vans Barbecue, Murphy Builder Supply, and also brought to you by O'Quinn & Associates.